Hi everyone, this is Burak from Trading Channels. I'm going to talk about indices, forex and commodities in video, today's video analysis. But first a disclaimer which basically says that you and only you are responsible from your trading analyses and trading decisions and this is only for educational purposes. So let's go ahead and talk about first the major indices in, from America, UK and Germany. So this is uh, S&P 500. Uh, we at the recent low found uh, basically a uh, bottom here at the red support which has already three touches um, it's probably very likely that the black channel is also in charge on Friday we saw a sell-off uh, which back tested the broken blue resistance and yes basically bounced right from there currently still bouncing at 2605 and I expect it to bounce a bit more there is a possibility that we will see the orange channel the top band may hold and it will, it will come down a bit and then once it's broken I think we will head back to the black top band from there we can see that it also coincides with the red internal resistance rail so what we can see is basically going up there coming down again and once the black top band breaks up then we would see a, a nice surge all the way to the red top band which is 2800 so i'm going to talk about the dow jones next let's go ahead and see this orange channel and the orange bottom band held at the recent low not an exact nice accurate touch but it's still closed above the orange bottom band coming back closer to the um, to the recent action we can see the red red supports are holding the red internal rail held at the recent high and that from there on it basically caused the sell off the blue broken resistance was back tested and that's exactly and this is an one hourly let me show it a bit more clearly so this was a very nice back test of the broken blue resistance so that's that's a nice touch on that resistance so you can see that it was it was touched three times the third one was a quite rather brief one but it kindly back, uh, broke it it went all the way to the red rail and then it came down so from here on I still expect a nice surge the the green resistance has three touches and that's where i expect it to go all the way and then the fourth touch went may, may as well break it up and this is footsie the red bottom man held this is the daily chart on log scale the red bottom man held and the bounce was very strong and at the moment footsie, footsie broke up the green resistance and it's within the black channel it looks like the it's it's moving within the black channel and we would probably see the black bottom man to get tested before the next surge and i think the 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 blue top band will get tested and last but not least is the dax this is a very very nice technical picture so at the recent law you can see the blue bottom man held with the help of the orange orange bottom support so this area was a cluster of supports and the black top band held at the recent high that was I think Thursday it's selling off and I think the broken resistance rail will get back tested while DAX is filling this little gap here on Monday and then that will be a nice long entry and if you're not sure and if you don't want to and if you want to be really sure to um, buy the breakout then you should wait until 
the break of the black top band so and last but not least actually this is uh, I forgot is the Nasdaq this is a perfect channel on the red bottom band we found the low and we can see the blue bull flag which has already five touches on its butt top band one two three four and five you can argue we have six and the internal blue support held on friday's law we may see the green channel forming so at the top band we may see some pullback but i eventually expect the blue top band to be broken um, and the red top band to get hit which will be another all-time high this is forex aussie dollar is still bullish as the orange orange channel is holding this is daily chart logarithmic scale and if we go to the h2 chart we're we're seeing a nice wedge so the wedge the top bottom edge is the is the green one and the blue one has three touches where we can see that the black channel is a bear flag so which means that we may see this double support to get hit just above 76 cents and that may if that causes a bounce it will be a nice long entry uh, euro this is the four hourly chart the blue button band held the green resistance broke up but we may see the red channel to, uh, to form basically we have to see the red top band to get hit and if it if it holds we may see one more sell-off and the breakout would be a nice long entry where the cable is in an uptrend which is basically shown this is the by the red channel this is the brexit um law and i think this this start of the brexit sell-off is at 1.50 is the ultimate target of this red channel the blue one is a bull flag and as long as this red channel and then and the green rail support rail is holding there is still a very good chance that we'll see 150 eventually and then we'll see if it will cause another sell-off but i think um, cable is still looking very bullish then these are the commodities and uh, i would like to talk about oil first this is the red channel the orange support i mean potential support because it needs a third touch and bounce and the green one obviously we are here at a triple support but it's a potential support we have to see it bounce on monday and the red the, the blue channel is a perfect bull flag so if it gets to the top band for a fourth attempt i think it will break up and we'll get to the 65 area pretty quick this is natural gas as long as the green top band is holding uh, we can see the the breakdown of the red uh, bear flag and the back test was pretty nice it may back test once again as long as this uh, blue support rail is holding but once the blue support rail breaks i expect it to tank pretty bad i mean pretty hard all the way to below to 260 and actually 255 all the way here and actually we're short gold is still within this very very excruciating this slow red channel we may see one more bottom band hit at 1300 just above 1300 but it's not a must um, if the red top band breaks before that it's still a good buying point and this is the silver this is the last chart of tonight's analysis we saw the green bull flag break up it's it was back tested three times the fourth one went slightly into it and currently all this sideways action is can be depicted within the blue blue channel 
the red one is kind of an unusual channel but it's still very much accurate and the red the red top band has two touches um, I still expect maybe a sell-off to the blue bottom band and then the bounce should break it break the red top band and eventually silver should rally to 18 and 19 within this year and this is it actually thank you very much hope you find it uh, useful